Manicourt, France, on a freezing February morning. Deserted, except for one small band of die-hard motorsport professionals. Ian Bickerton has taken on the challenge of getting a car into shape that can beat Audi at Le Mans. With less than five months to go until the race, he has brought his Creation Autosport team here for two days of testing. The icy conditions at France's premier Grand Prix track are far from ideal. But Bix will do anything to get a head start on the competition. The cold's going to be a little bit of a problem, the cold track. Um, we're not going to get much tyre temperature, which is a grip factor. So the speeds will be down, but it still means we can do other work with the car. He's got a fraction of the budget of his main rivals, half as many people and just one car. So it's crucial that every single test day produces improvements to both speed and reliability. Bix believes he's assembled the talent to get the job done. Uh, Ian Smith's our chief engineer of the team. He deals with mainly the chassis and electronics. I'll generate ideas and plans that we might carry out in a test to try and make the car go faster or to achieve um, some reliability goals. He's a good young engineer, very practical. Andy Trim's our chief mechanic. I tend to look after the gearboxes and also you know, chief, chief mechanic look after the guys as well. Good problem solver, good motivator. Hello. The team's two drivers also play a crucial role in the engineering of the car. Nick Manassian is our number one driver. He came to us last year. He's an ex-Formula 3000 IndyCar F1 test driver. My role in the team is, uh, is to drive as fast as I can without like crashing the car. They don't call him Quick Nick for nothing. Jamie Campbell Water comes from a lot of GT racing. Some people say he's just the monkey that connects the steering wheel to the pedals, but there's a little bit more to it than that. Jamie can punch those lap times in lap after lap. But the real star is the car itself. First designed in 2002, Creation's 500 horsepower DBA prototype has been developed into one of the fastest sports cars in the world. The main differences between this and a Grand Prix car are that the aerodynamic bodywork covers the wheels. There's a space by the driver for a very small passenger. And that this beast is designed for endurance racing, from six hours through to the full 24. In their first season, Creation stunned the sports car racing world with three pole positions and two podium finishes in their first six races. It was enough to win them a coveted invitation to take part in this year's Le Mans. But endurance racing is about achieving reliability as well as speed. And a series of mechanical failures means Creation now have their work cut out to turn this car into a machine capable of competing for 24 hours non-stop. 